Welcome back, everybody. We uh, uh, there was an apparently there was an earthquake. Happened. If you remember from last last week, I don't remember. I you don't remember? <laughs> I don't remember a lot of things. But yeah, oh. so we're gonna do this. Yeah, bring that up. Let's go take a look. Let's go take a look up in the Let's up in the mountain. And then when you come back, we can take care of all the uh, down. Then we'll go on all the aminals, chicken and cow stuff. <laughs> Uh, are, are you into cow play? Are you into cow? Are you into cow play? <laughs> oh, look at that, dude! The, stuff, the boulder's gone. Oh, 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 oh! You got a little too uh, rambunctious. Oh, a little, little too eager. Flower. Ooh, what a beautiful flower! Uh, so I can't throw it in. Can, can I? you? Can you? Can you try? Can you try using the axe? Oh! Oh wow! Okay, there we Hi. go. Hi, how do you do? I'm, I'm Goddess, Goddess of Spring. Spring. Did, you Did you expect me to come, come out? out? By the way, I have a this question. This is so hard to fucking read. Is this gold axe when you drop? No. No. Oh, oh yes, I found an honest, honest person. person. Dude, that's badass. So cool. now, thanks. Even though we don't have to thank you. Yeah. Now we have all you, the Goddess gold tools, Spring. don't we? You now break that break that wood. Oh, Boom. Yeah. Boom. Oh yeah. Go down that. Got to get down. Go the, down the hole. Go down the hole and get that power battery, dude. Fuck yeah! What a good, uh, good start. What a good start. What a good start. What a great start. What a good, good what a good start. time. Good start. How are you doing, buddy? I'm all right. How's your week? Uh, it's been tired. I'm yeah. tired. Yeah. I'm, I'm tired. I slept for ten hours today. Dude, that's pretty night. good. That was amazing. That's pretty good. Catching up. Just what the doctor ordered. Just is that what your doctor said? Uh, no, <laughs> I don't have a doctor. <laughs> but that's what I said. I prescribed myself. I go to a clinic. Uh, just for sleep? Well, no. Just for my daily, my time oh, yeah. practitioner needs. So I don't have a set doctor. Right, that makes sense. You know, what am I doing? And what are you doing? I'm trying to you milk, put, milk the dog. You did. <laughs> dog milk? I don't know if dog milk is very good. Dude, people eat weird kinds of milk now. That's true, yeah. They like, get milk uh, from almonds. Almond milk, yeah. Although that's blending the almonds, but I like to think yeah, that they suck. The, the almonds have little nipples on mm -hmm, them. That they yeah. suck out. That'd be funny. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's pretty strange. Dude, I had a pretty good week. I actually, this week, for the first time ever, I tried virtual reality. Like tried VR Troopers. Yeah, like VR Troopers, dude. Uh, got, I tried the, the, vi the Vive. No, it was just the headset. So you just got the helmet. The hel the headset with the, uh, and then these, these two little controller things, too, that were pretty cool. They were like little wands. But so what games did you play? The setup was crazy. Well, I played a game... The setup, uh, let me tell you about the setup a little bit, because there was like a, a box in each corner of the room, and it was like 13 square feet of like, open area, you know? Yeah. And the, it, the tracking was super good. Like when I was in the game and I was moving the controls around, the tracking on them was perfect. They moved, like you could, it even shows like the controller in virtual reality you're, that yeah. you're looking at, and you could like toss it up into the air and catch it. The tracking was that wow. good on it. Yeah, it just looked like you were, it looks like it was just there. So that was pretty crazy, but I played some really cool games. The first game I tried out was, uh, it was like Job Simulator. Yeah. Which was neat, you get like four different options, I only tried two of them, but one of them was uh, like office, like an office job. And so you're literally, like I had a chair, and, and you're you sitting- You file reports? You're sitting in an, uh, like in a cubicle, and then it has you go through various tasks. Huh. And so like one of the tasks is to like print out the latest like reports. Yeah. So you go you turn on the computer or you try turning on the computer and it's unplugged. So you yeah. got to grab the plug and plug it in. Of course. And then you try turning on the computer and it's like no power from the tower. And so you try you have to from the you tower. look under the desk and you like actually look under the desk and there's like a computer there. And so you plug that one in and you turn the power on and then you can like go on the computer and find what you're supposed to do all using just hmm. the virtual reality and you can grab the mouse and move it around and click and stuff. And then when you're done with that, it like you send it to the printer and you look to your left and the printer prints out a fucking thing. That's cool. And you can grab it and stick it in the box or whatever. How? And as far as yeah, oh, dude. How uh, how precise is it? It's like it's really precise. I mean, that's what I mean about the tracking being super good. Yeah. It's like you just it's so intuitive. You don't even really need to be told how to do stuff. You just kind of do it. You know. That's cool. I mean, it tells you what buttons to push, but other than that, like. Once you've got it down, it starts becoming really easy to just, like, do random tasks and, like... Um, throwing shoes at people? Yeah, throwing shoes at people and all that. You can actually throw stuff. In fact, I there's a paper airplane in, on the table or whatever, and I, yeah. like, picked it up and, like, threw it over my cubicle, and it just, like, sailed off into another part of the Did office hit, that I couldn't see. Hit Tina? Did I Tina maybe get it. pissed? <laughs> 
It may have hit Tina. Actually, everyone in there is computers, not people. Oh, and wow. the way that it's set up is, uh, is it's like you're a computer in a simulation of what it was like to be a person back, oh, that's cool. back when people existed. Yeah. So it's like set in a future where robots have like controlled everything. Um, but yeah, the office the office game was super fun. It was really cool. They had like a Newton's cradle that you could play around with. It had like real physics I need and to stuff. Fix this before you go to bed. And one of those drinking birds. Yeah. That that's like cool. dipped down into the glass and stuff. Yeah, it was just really neat. And then and what's cool about that game is that it kind of walks you through everything. There's a big screen, so if you need to, you just look at the screen and it says like, "This is the next thing you're supposed to do." Oh shit. You gotta. You gotta go to bed before your wife falls asleep. I Did know. you give her an egg? Yeah. Oh, well then you're fine. I know, but I just wanted to... Fix your fence, yeah. yeah. I get it. Fuck. Maintaining a ranch is hard. It's a difficult, it's a difficult thing, yeah. But, uh... Oh yeah, virtual reality. Idea. Virtual reality. Ah, fuck. You missed it. That's okay, though. You gave her an egg. You still gained I wanted to eat points. a cake that she made, though. Yeah, that's true. It's nice to get the cake. Um... Uh, the other game that I played in the office simulator, or in the job simulator, was, uh, like, at a, a little restaurant. It almost looked like you were in this little kitchen in this food court. Like a Buca de Bebo? No, in, like, a food... No. Like, a tiny kitchen. It had, like, a, a fridge and, like, a sink. Oh, thanks to you. Oh, shit, tomorrow. that's awesome. And, like, a stove. And, like, for the stove, if you switch the thing to pot, it would, like, bring the stove down and then bring a stove with a pot, like a soup pot up. So that's tomorrow. Yeah, that's tomorrow. So tomorrow, just get all your stuff done and head over to the square. Girls give cakes. Shit. Why did that guy come? I don't know. That? I don't know. Yeah. That's what does he do? <laughs> that's cool though. Uh, and it was really neat. Did and you get to make pasta? Well, no, I didn't. But the first thing was like make a smoothie. So I had to find there the blender. Whoa. What? Did you forget to feed one of them? I guess so. Did you only feed one yesterday? I didn't think so. Hmm. Oh no. Yeah. I, oh, there's two. Yeah. He was oh, okay. Just, he was just sitting on one. Oh. <laughs> That's weird. The chicken was hiding. Yeah. Um. But oh, so I I made smoothies, which was really fun because you just smoothies? it was like I just what threw. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just went into the fridge and I pulled out like carrots and tomatoes and I made like a veg vegetable smoothie. So a V8. And, yeah, like basically like a V8 smoothie, and then you just place it on the little table, and a little bell. If you successfully do it, a little bell comes up, and you can tap the bell, and that starts the next thing. Oh, that's cool. And what was cool Hopefully. about about what was cool about uh, how to start it was they had you know those like order tags that go on that spinny thing. Yeah. And you can like pull the tag down and see what it says. So then each time you would go to like the next thing, it would put a new tag up there and you'd pull it down and then it would walk you through the instructions of like the next thing to make. That's cool. So then I made soup. So I just threw a bunch of shit in a pot and it cooked down into soup, apparently. Uh, and it was it was fun. But I think that was of the of the games that I played, of the programs that I guess I interacted with, that was the the only one that was really game like. Yeah. Um Although I did do a, a shooting range one as well, where th and that was really cool because you're like out in the middle of the desert, and it actually looks like you're just in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and if you walk, what's cool about the the way that the vibe works is if you walk too close to like the edge of the room, it shows red lines, like red lines fade in that show like the space that you're supposed to be contained in. Hmm. So you won't like run into any walls or anything like that. As soon as you get close to one, it just slowly fades in to let you know, like, hey. I think it's called the cha like a chaperone. So it's like, hey, you're not supposed to leave this area. <laughs> there you go. And then you can like go back in and it disappears and it like reimmerses you. But what was crazy about the whole experience was that like everything just seemed so interactable. Um, like I was loading up a gun and some bullets dropped on the ground, and so I like actually bent down onto the floor, picked up the bullets, and when I tried to stand back up, I tried to grab the table. Yeah. To, and like, help was, me stand no up. Table. And there was nothing. There was no table. Uh, there was and, no spoon. And that was, like, the, the first time playing where I was like, holy shit, dude, that's crazy. I completely forgot yeah. that there's, like, not a table. Oh, look at that milk! It's a super milk, it's right? It's a big milk, yeah. Way that's to go. nice. Way that's to nice. Go. Kylo. Way to go, Kylo. 
The uh, no, I got some interesting snaps from Kelly. Oh, really? Yeah. She snapped you pictures of me yeah. doing VR. Yeah, That's pretty it, funny. It looked really funny. Yeah. Well, and it it's, looks totally nonsensical when you watch somebody else do it. If especially if you're not looking at the screen to see like what they're supposed to be doing, because you're just like doing random movements. Yeah. You know, but it all makes sense to you when you're in like when you're in the world doing it. All right. Which was pretty crazy. Do you want to do the Thanksgiving we're festival? We're gonna do the Thanksgiving festival, and we're gonna end it. Ooh, fuck yeah, dude! So I gotta feed my chickens and cows, and and then go to the festival. Go to the festival. Yeah, the virtual reality stuff is pretty cool. I had never used it before, and it is definitely like I heard. It's that so hard to describe. That Valve made a. Actually, they did at PAX. They had a. They had with the Oculus. Valve made the three D like a portal. Oh yeah. One. Yeah, yeah. And it seemed like There's it was really cool. Stuff. It was very interactive. Yeah. Well, that's what's so nice about it is that, like, that's... Because, like, tactile interaction is, like, the only way you really can do anything in VR, uh, it's really nice to see that people are, are developing games and stuff that you can play that, that just have to do with you, like, picking stuff up. And yeah, moving well, it. I mean, it's kind and of like, displaying what it can do. Yeah, and, yeah. like, play, you know, get these specific items and put them here, you know? Yeah. Because then it's it's... That's so fun, and it seems so much more like real life, as opposed to this, where it's like, you're just moving a little guy... Well, with, it's a different you know, type of it's game. It's a completely different type of game. And it was a completely new experience. Like, it, it was like... It, it's it's so hard to describe it without actually do like doing it, um, because it, because of how new it is, I guess. Because, like, there's nothing you can really compare it to, you know? Other than, like, I felt like I was in the well, Matrix. Yeah. You know, because you could just press a button and suddenly everything would disappear and your fucking Steam library would open. Yeah, and just like cool. in front of you, and you could like point at it and like choose a new game, and then it just like melts away into another game. You're like, what the fuck? It's crazy. That's, I mean, that's that's what you get for being able to uh, afford doing that. Lot of stuff, right. You know, absolutely it should be great. Yeah, it was. It's nuts. It's definitely like the wave of the the future. Hopefully, someday everyone will have a commercially viable. Like virtual reality thing that they can, they can participate in. Is it too early? Did we miss it? Was it yesterday? Was it yesterday? Was it snowing yesterday when you went to bed? Did you completely skip the festival? Like it was. Well, it said the Thanksgiving. Or festival. is it too early? Or is it too early? It might be too early. Yeah, check your time. Because I think it doesn't start until. If it's still six a.m., I think. Oh, nine o'clock. Hmm. I mean, go back and try it. Um, go back to the town, I mean. Well, I mean, why would it tell you that that day was the Thanksgiving? It festival? wouldn't. It wouldn't. It would tell you the it day before, It would tell before, you the right? next day. Hopefully. Here, hold on. Let's try and go back out. And now that you've in. eaten? Now yeah. that it's noon? Yeah. God, I hope so. Maybe we were just talking. Nah. Oh, go. Really? Do we miss it? Did we miss it? Go check the where where does it list it? The church? Uh yeah, I think so. Oh no, no, no. Thanksgiving festival is just I think you just talk to people. Oh. I think okay. you just talk to people around the town, maybe. Okay. Are you sure? I don't know. Maybe check check and see. That's weird. Yeah, that is weird. Yeah, I got a cake from Maria. Oh yeah, so it is the festival today. I get a cake from Maria every I guess year. you just get cakes from people. Huh. Well, I don't really want to get cakes Yeah, from it anyone. doesn't really make sense since your wife is at home. Maybe go I'm just pregnant. go home and, and pregnant, yeah. <laughs> What'd you do today? Oh, nothing. I was just eating cakes from girls. Cakes what were you doing? I was here town. being pregnant with our child. <laughs> I didn't think to go out. I didn't think to go out. Because I thought you'd be here. Dude, is that purple? Is your it look the it snow looks kind of the snow, snow looks look purple. purple yeah it does that's what's really the red right yeah that's really pretty it's nice to own land is she in the, it's good to have land yeah, yeah she's in here um, another thing I wanted to to say was there were some other things that I played around with that weren't really games one of them was uh oh there you go oh there you go nice thank you for one of them was a painting game where you could like choose. Your different brushes and stuff and yeah. then you, with one controller and then the other one was like your paintbrush and it was like the most intuitive thing I, I had ever you just press the trigger and move the brush and it just like paints in 3d space 
and it was like really really crazy really incredible stuff um, and then the, the last thing was like a solar system thing where you could like zoom in and out and like examine oh, that's planets. Cool. And we placed little find, stars. Find we, the route to Luke Skywalker. Yeah, exactly. We placed stars next to each other, and they crashed into them like themselves and blew up into like a, a nebula, into like a supernova thing. It was fucking crazy. That's cool. Anyway, I think that's uh, that'll do it for today. I'm glad that we got our cake. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you've ever done any VR, let us know what you thought. It's definitely a, a new interesting thing, and I'd like to hear your, your opinions. Yeah, and, it's all about it, apparently. And, yeah, and we will see you next time. talk about that All right, I figured it, we're always looking for things to talk about <laughs> I guess so <laughs>